Hi, I'm Dave Baring, Technical Director here at TriStar, and welcome to another Ask the Expert segment. Um, today our question comes to us from a customer in the bearing industry. Um, this is actually a manufacturer of bearings who's interested in using uh, some of our materials for uh, um, cages and retainers. And the question has to do with PV. Um, they're obviously familiar with PV as related to metallic bearings, but not so much on plastic bearings. So the question is, I see in here uh, your talks about PV in a lot of your videos related to plane bearings. What does it really all mean? Well, uh, PV is probably one of the most critical factors when we're designing polymer plane bearings. And the reasons are fairly simple. Um, all plastic materials have limitations. Uh, because all plastic materials um, are directly affected by thermal conditions, we have to be sure that whatever material we pick for a plane bearing application is going to be designed within the parameters of that material so that we don't exceed the thermal uh, capabilities of that material, which will lead to a failure if we, if you go past those. Um, so when we talk about PV when it comes to plastic bearings, uh, it's absolutely critical that uh, we design at or below the maximum limitations. Uh, P, again, is uh, for pressure. It's indicated by PSI, and that is simply taking the uh, surface area that we have to work with and uh, determining what the load is in actual PSI. And every single polymer material, and even non-metallic or metallic plane bearings, uh, have PV limitations. So when we look at the P value and the B value, we're looking at it as a very individualized number. Uh, for instance, uh, nylon has a different P rating than acetyl uh, and a different rating from Teflon, like Rulons. So each thing has to be looked at on its own merit. Same thing with the speeds. Um, your Rulon materials are capable of 400 feet per minute. UHMW materials are only capable of 50 feet per minute. And if you design outside of that with a UHMW, you're obviously going to introduce more heat. And when you introduce more heat to a polymer, you introduce thermal failure. So we stress PV because we live and die by PV. Uh, it's just as important as if all the other factors that we talk about in our presentations, you know, temperatures and uh, environment and things like that. Um, and PVs are affected by a lot of other things. Um, surface finishes, the type of mating hardware. Um, you know, for instance, if you've got a bearing that is highly insulated, which most polymers are, um, and you're running against stainless steel, then you need to be sure that that polymer has some capacity for carrying heat away. Um, and that gets a little tricky because stainless steel uh, cannot really tolerate abrasive uh, mating surfaces. So it's that combination of, of knowing what the material is capable of, maintaining um, the friction that you want, and also maintaining control on the thermal properties uh, of the application. And that's what will protect that polymer bearing and give you the life expectancy that you want. So PV is critical. Um, we harp on it at TriStar because it, it really is an important part of what we do every day. And um, that's why we feel we're pretty good at it is because we understand all this. So if you have questions about PB and how it really affects the performance in your application, give us a call. Contact us through the Ask the Expert. Call us at, at one of the branches. Um, we're more than happy to work with you and help you to understand completely what, uh, what could happen if we do it just wrong. So, um, and again, Check out our blog site, check out our website for, uh, we've got a lot of videos that talk about PVs and temperature and, and designing plane bearings. So please refer to those and uh, help you learn a little, bit, a little bit more about why PV is so important. Thanks for joining us and we look forward to seeing you on another Ask the Expert.